Roberts, Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And today I'm bringing you day 10 schedule and my predictions from round two of the World Starts Championship in the Alley Pally, which is on Saturday, December the 23rd. Um, there's two sessions, one at 1 p.m. and um, this afternoon, and one from 7 p.m. this evening. Each of the sessions have three games in, which are all best of seven sets, as opposed to five from the first round. Now, it's actually starting in uh, about 30 minutes. The reason I'm doing the videos now for round um, two is so that I can add in a lot of the stats from the first round, just to make it a bit more fun. I don't want to make the videos boring, guys, and I like to put in the stats, and I'm really enjoying all your comments, so please keep them coming. I had a nightmare for my predictions yesterday, so anybody watching these videos, you know, don't put any money. I'm sure you wouldn't anyway, but do you know what I mean? It's my predictions were... They're not great yesterday. I've got some winners, but I've got uh, some of the scores were a little way out. So let's just have a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each game one at a time, say who I think I'm go who's going to win, let you know what the stats are, and just have some fun, really. So the first session is from 1pm, as you can see here, and it is Keegan Brown against Zoran Lechbacker. Now, in the first round, let's have a look at the stats. Keegan Brown beat James Wade 3-2. He had a free dart average of 95.45 and a checkout percentage of 41.38. Zoran beat Mervyn King 3-2 after being two sets to nil down. He had a free dart average of 92.09 and a 50% checkout. So really, this was a, a... It should have been more of a close one to call. I think that Zoran did well to get back into it. Mervyn King was obviously struggling in his game, um, again, with his back. And that's, I'm not saying that's why Zoran won. But I'm a Keegan Brown fan anyway think that he could go on a little run in the tournament. And I think that Keegan Brown's going to beat Zoran today 4-2. We then go on to Michael Smith against Rob Cross. What a second. This is an awesome second round match. Rob Cross is world, Rob Cross is world class. Michael Smith, as we know, um, is a world class player as well on his day. I think that he's getting back to where he was. I think I've seen improvements over the last few months. I think this is going to be a really good game. In the first round, Michael Smith beat Lennon 3-2. Uh, he had a free dart average of 92.63 and a checkout percentage of 32.35. The checkout percentage wasn't that great. Rob Cross beat Sego Azada 3 nearly. He had a free dart average of 104.12. I think it's the second highest of round one. And a checkout percentage of 50%. Now, I have gone for Rob Cross to win this one 4-3. Do I think Michael Smith can win? Of course I do. Michael Smith, if he is on fire, he, when he is on, as I always say, he is on. And he is capable of beating any player in the world. But at the moment, I think that Rob Cross is playing too solid. And he will come through this one in a really close match. But he'll win 4-3. The final session of the afternoon is between Steve West against Jermaine Watamina. Steve West in the first round beat be Benito beat a bit of a um, tongue twister. Beat Benito van der Paz 3-1. He had a free dart average of 95.67 and a checkout percentage of 39.29. Whereas Jermaine beat Joe Cullen again, another great um, match um, to take a seeded player out. He had a free dart average of 96.83 and a checkout percentage of 43.29. Four, eight. So his average and checkout percentage was higher than Steve West. But as you can see, again, I think that for some reason, something in my head or my heart or whatever you want to say is telling me that I think that Steve West will beat Jermaine today for free. So there are my scores for this afternoon sessions. We then go on to this evening sessions, again, which I say start at 7 p.m. Um, the opening match of the night, I love both these players. I like Gurney and I like um, Big Bad John. I think he's great as well. So let's have a look. Daryl Gurney in the first round beat Ronnie Hybrex 3-1. And Ronnie Hybrex was playing really well in that. He was unlucky. I think against a lot of the other players, he could have gone through um, through round one. But Daryl Gurney beat him 3-1. He had a free dart average of 100.51. And a checkout percent of 45.45. Whereas John Henderson beat Marco Contelli 3 nearly. He had a free dart average of just 90.09. And he had a good checkout percentage of 45%. Um, John Henderson, of course, can hit higher averages. He's going to have to against Daryl Gurney. I think that he will raise it because he needed. He didn't really need to raise it in the first uh, round there. It wasn't the best of games. But I like both these players. But Gurney on his form and how he's playing at the moment, I think that Gurney will be John Henderson 4-2. We then go on to Phil Taylor against Justin Pike. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I got a bit of a cough, so that's better now. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't resist that. Um, so we've got Phil Taylor against Justin Pipe. Justin Pipe beat Chris Doby 3 1 in the first round. He had a free dart average of 96.33 and a checkout percent of 44%. While Justin, Justin <laughs> Pipe beat Bernie Smith 3 2 <clears throat> with a free dart average of 89.24 and a checkout percentage of 46.43. Uh, <laughs> so that's my coughs out of the way. Um, so yeah, so that's that's that particular one. Still laughing about that incident. It's it's just crazy. I'm actually doing a video on it, guys. If you want to um, keep an eye out, I've got a video coming out probably late today, stroke tomorrow, on the Justin Pipe cough incident and get your thoughts on it. So that's that. I think that Phil Taylor, last world championship, retiring. Um, I think that he's going to have way too much for Justin Pipe. I think he can cough and splutter and do whatever he wants. I think he could fly around the stage and Phil Taylor would still win. I think we'll come through this one for one. We then go on to the final game of the evening, which I cannot wait. It's against Raymond Van Van Velde against Carl Anderson. Raymond Van Van Velde in the first round beat Richard North 3-0. He had a free dart average of 102 and a checkout percentage of 47.37. And Carl Anderson, he beat Peter Jacques 3-1. He had a free dart average of 93.08 and a checkout percentage of 55%. Now, I'm looking forward to this. I'm a massive Carl Anderson fan. I think that he's going to be moving up the rankings still. I think he's very dangerous, but Barney loved these worlds. If he, can, if he stays on course as well, he's going to meet, I think, MVG in the quarters, which I'm... Um, I, I hope to see that happen. Um, but if Anderson go through it, I don't mind because I like both these players. But I think that Barney really gets up for the Worlds. I think he loves the stage. And I think he'll have enough to beat um, Carl Anderson in this one for free. So they are my predictions for day 10 um, of the World Start Championship. Obviously, as I said, it's round two. It's on Saturday, December 23rd. Starting now in probably about 15 minutes because I've been jabbering on. So I can't wait to go and catch it. As always, guys, please leave your comments below. Get involved in the video. Keep an eye out for <coughs> the coffin video that's coming very soon about Justin Pipe. Um, and all, as always, I'll get back to you. Don't forget to leave a like if you do like my videos and subscribe and share the channel. Also, don't forget to check out dartsplanet.tv because there's loads of World Starts Championship videos going on there every day. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.